Hello, guitar folks. It's been a week or two, but uh, we're really in the swing of things here this second this second semester. Um, one of the songs that we worked on today is called As Bozo Duet. This one is really a fantastic piece uh, because it's working on the right hand pima, what we, we were doing before, P-I-M-A. It's the Spanish flamenco style of guitar playing and classical style of guitar playing, um, but it incorporates a couple different chords. Uh, it's going to also have a another bass line that kind of goes along with it, so it's a really neat duet. It's probably one of the better pieces that we'll get to play this year. It's, it's like almost like a recital piece. Anyways, um, your kids should have it in their uh, in their paperwork that I've I've handed out and such. It's um, also in the Google Drive folder under the MIDI for Kids stuff on page what is that thirty four of the of the book. Anyhow, so if we look up at the top here, we're going to play a couple of chords as arpeggios. In other words, we're going to play the three notes of the chord, not uh, all together as a strum, but one at, one note at a time. And this right here is the A minor chord. Notice we're only using the top three strings. So on the right hand, when we're plucking, we're only going to use thumb, index, and middle. P, I, M, P, I, M, and repeat over and over. Over here is an E minor chord, which all the strings are open. The top three strings, P, I, M, P, I, M. When we look down at the, the page down here, it's all a pattern. That's it. Each measure is either the A minor or the E minor. I'm going to kind of slide. I know it's hard to see because my face is in the middle there. Um, the first two measures, A minor, then E minor. Um, I'll leave my, uh, my camera on so you can kind of see what my fingers are doing here. Uh, and I'll try to do a little bit of both so you can see what's going on. You won't be able to see the first two measures, but here I go. One, two, three. Mm. Notice the end of the second line stays the same. Third line, the pattern changes a little bit. Fourth line. So the things to take note of in this song that are pretty important are one, the PIM pattern on your uh, student's, your child's right hand. <coughs> When you're looking, it should be kind of a thumbs up and then turn to the side so that the thumb is nearly horizontal. It's pretty much parallel with the strings of the guitar. If you see them doing something like this where it's more perpendicular, that's not, not a good, good sign. The index and middle fingers shouldn't be beside the thumb. They should be kind of downstream of the thumb, in other words, kind of behind, more towards the palm. Also, listening for steady beat, which shouldn't sound like... Should be each note the same. The, the left hand, the chords are very, fairly simple. Just remember third string, second fret, second string, first fret, that's the only chord you need to know for this one. If you're feeling adventurous, you're welcome to go on to the part B, which is a bass part. Almost everything on here, I believe, is on the fifth and sixth string, and they are long notes. They either last for three beats, like the first note here. It's going to be kind of like... So on and so forth. 
Thought I could play them both at the same time. I've got to practice that one. Anyhow, good luck with that. Have fun. If you have any questions, as always, um, feel free to uh, send me an email, give me a call. Um, that's all for this week. Enjoy. <laughs>